Uh, Why is there a camera on my face? Hello. What's happening? This is uh, for. Uh, this is the making of together. The making of together. We're here at the West Coast headquarters of MTV to give you a behind-the-scenes look at a hit TV show. Jackass. Yeah, together. Jackass. You'll see what it's like when we're rehearsing scenes, recording songs, learning our new dance moves, or just hanging out. And later in the show, we'll take a look back at the life of our friend Michael Joni. See how much fun we had together and how much he inspired all of us. So enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Evan Farmer. I play Jerry O'Keefe on Together. Why? I've already gotten naked twice. Chad's me. As much as I hate to admit it, I'm a lot like Chad. Chad is not me. He's a together, right? <laughs> How's it going? My name's Alex Saltz. I play Mickey Park. Uh, he's a poser. He's a total poser. You think Mickey Park's not sensitive? You're sensitive as a bitch. Look oh, at all this tail. <laughs> Kevin Farley. Ah. I play Doug Linus on Together. You mean sex. That's what we call acting. I was lucky to have a character that is obsessed with the opposite sex. I think someone needs a little man time. What's with that? TV's offices in Santa Monica. We are uh, just settling in to do a table read. Each one of us reads through the script to try to get the beats of the jokes and to get the feel of the episode. And uh, each one of us as actors has to give it all we can to try to make the jokes work as best as we can possibly do. You're such a moron. You there? I'm there. All right. Hey, Michael. It's a Michael, everybody. Michael. Well done. Hey, Okay, let's just have fun with it. You know your lines? <laughs> Wallace brings QT in from the other room. The four guys ecstatically hug him. So, you guys are gonna sign. <laughs> yeah, right. They couldn't break us thanks to your secret inspiration. What are you talking about? The five fingers and the one finger. You were telling us to maintain unity and not to sign. No. I was telling that. I was, I was telling, telling you guys, guys that, that on, on my, my book, book tour, I kissed five girls in one night. <laughs> Hey, together! Yeah. 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 We're back! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hey. I, I fell for it. Thank you in Vancouver. Bye. This is uh, how we start the day. I, um, I wake up, I think, and then um, we get our lines for the day, and then... Uh, we trip on over to the uh, makeup and hair trailer. This is where it all starts. This is where she turns an 80-year-old man into a young child. I actually have an announcement to make. What's up? Sorry, all you ladies out there. Sorry? I, um, I'm dating someone. Oh, really? QT's dating someone. Farrah Fawcett and I have been Farrah involved Fawcett. for, uh, for a couple days. Yeah, that poster on your wall. Deb, say hello to everybody, to America. America, Deb, Deb, America. What's something like to close the door? And, America, uh, whoever. It's <laughs> really cold. Once an episode, we uh, we would do a, a location shop. Yeah, talk to me, baby. Well, I'm going to um, take my Steinmetz lotion and um, save the damsel from sunburn. Then we're going to smooch. Well, Jerry, Jerry's the heartthrob, so he's carried a lot of the romantic uh, uh, storyline through through um, through the episodes. <laughs> it's an indoor pool. I don't think we need sunblock. You know, it's been a long time since I've been able to talk to a woman like I can talk to you. Yeah, I'm wondering when you're going to stop talking. Kissing on camera is the least romantic thing you could ever possibly do. You, there's a thousand people watching you, but it's, uh, it's not very romantic. It's like kissing your cat. Come on in. 
I'll show you the uh, the set. This is where all the magic happens. Noah comes in early to get his lines read, and he takes a little cat nap. So we won't disturb him. Noah! <laughs> Here's the common area. Oh, flowing this would be into a kitchen. Just this is a kitchen. As you can see, our kitchen is top of the line, state of the art. Okay, it's something's not working today, but you know what? It, that's okay. That's okay, because we always have. Dude! Well, these things, things seem to be stuck. Let's see what's in the fridge. For the love of Jehovah, there's real food in here. There is actually real food in here. Oh my God, if you guys can smell it. Looks oh. pretty good. So, oh, it smells Jesus. really bad, though. Did you smell that? Oh. Let's see the. Rooms, rooms, the bedroom. This is me and Kev's room. Look at the big giant bumblebee. He's our friend. He's our friend. He's been with us don't, since the beginning. Don't! This is where I sleep up there, and Kev sleeps down there. Don't there's a fire! Tasty barbecue. Okay. This is Mickey Park's room. This is where all the action takes place. I notice that mine's the only bed that really has a mattress on it. But there's a reason for that. Oh, God! Oh, please. I remember this time we were shooting this scene and Alex was eating to comfort eating. Action. Mickey. Would you like some more food? And action. Want some more food, Mickey? You told him! You told him! You told him! You told him! I did not! What did I say? I was just trying to be nice. <clears throat> Mickey, I swear I did not tell him. Doug Linus keeps his word. Sorry, I guess I'm freaking a little bit. We we're shooting this scene and he was shoving all this food down his throat. He was spitting chunks of chicken at us. Do you remember this? When you watch Alex eat, it's kind of gross to begin with. in the mouth and eat, 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 eat. Eat, 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 eat. Eat, 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 eat. Great, I loved it. There was a scene where Alex and um, and I were on the porch, and he was showing me this rap that he came up with, and um, it, it went something like this: What, sucka, what, sucka, sucka, what, sucka, sucka, what, sucka, what, sucka, sucka, what? And every time we did it, we, we would die laughing. <laughs> what, sucka, what, sucka, sucka, what, sucka, sucka, what, sucka, what, sucka, sucka, what, sucka, mug, sucka. It's okay, let it out. Feel it. I'm not crying, I'm laughing. <laughs> what? Sucka what? Sucka sucka what? Sucka sucka what? Sucka? <laughs> we had to do this scene where, uh, where we, we, he decided that he was gonna free himself, Kev, Kevin, aka Doug, free himself of clothing. I'm free! Mental hug, mental hug. <laughs> this dummy <laughs> really was naked. He was supposed to be wearing underwear. Ah, oh, come on. And so he drops the robe and he stands there and he's yeah. naked. That's cool. He was really naked. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to show you what it's like to sing and dance in a real boy band. Well, sort of real. And we'll pay tribute to our dear friend and bandmate, Michael Cuccioni. So stick around, will you? Howdy. <laughs> How you doing? Next, we're going to show you how we put together those awesome dance numbers. Yeah, you know, our dancing might look easy on screen, but it takes directors, choreographers, and costume designers. And most importantly, a guy barking at us through a bullhorn. He's right. <laughs> we're going to shoot you guys first. Then we're going to bring the guys in and put them on stage. And they're going to dance around, and we're going to shoot you and the guys. Imagine going jacket, jacket, throw. Bradley Rapier, he's, uh, we brought him in from France where stripping was invented. Let's see. See, there's, there's ways to take off a jacket and then there's ways to strip off a jacket. Let's do one side at a time, guys. So if you give me this, go like this, go foom, foom, and then throw the jacket off. Right. Just display it again for them. Right. Foom, foom, and then jack, pop. Foom, foom? Yeah. Can you get it off? Yeah. And 
jacket, jacket, throw. Right sleeve, left sleeve, middle crotch. You guys didn't do it very well. I did. Perfect job. Thank you. Evan Farmer, who plays Jerry, you know, he's such a, his background is New York, you know, the stage, the theater. He's got kind of that disciplined side. Alex, I'd say, is the worst dancer that we have, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Sorry, Alex, you know. But he, but he covers it up with his performance and his soul. And he's just feeling it. He's giving it his all. Noah. Noah's the, the most interesting guy in the show for me in terms of trying to hard to peg him. He's just so all over the place. He's just so continually non-stop, non-stop. Kevin, like I said, though, Kevin, I think, naturally is the best. Kevin naturally is the most person. And just If you put him music, he'll entertain you. Of course, he'll be funny because of his whole oh gestures. God. But he actually himself can be on beat and really work it. Michael, actually, he he's actually, he's got a strong dance build. He's more influenced by, I think, like Michael Jackson. Because he likes to do little moves and kind of just little slides and little angle things. The idea is, as soon as you hear that music, the shh, right, Alex? I'm not listening to anything he says. It's actually great. It's jacket, jacket, throw, One. sleeve, sleeve, pants down, and we need to be popping off. You two need to get off before he goes, oh, Come on in and witness the uh, brilliance. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put number 22 on. Check, check, check. It's too damn early to do my thing. I just gotta get warmed up. Can you take your shirt off? Well, I never good at history. thing or two. Ow! <laughs> okay, good. We want to sound like uh, the Backstreet Boys on this one. Chad isn't smiling enough. So I'm sorry, brother. But we've got to do this. You smile! You're in a boy band! After three months of making a TV show, I want to make a CD. You plus me equals I saw. Now you need to turn it up, because I can't hear it on this. Turn it up a little. In my vocal. Oh, Lord! You plus me equals us all. Don't f do that. <laughs> Make me laugh over here. Okay, let's try it again. You plus me equals us all. That was great, dude. Man. That was awesome. He had some balls in that one. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Okay, we're rolling. Another day has gone by. Still have your picture by my side. Forget when you left, when we said goodbye. I know it's hard to carry on. Can I survive? Every minute, every hour, I just can't get you out of my mind. No matter how hard I try, every day, every night, I wish you were back in my life. Can we give it just one more chance this time? Ooh, that sucked. We're gonna do it again. Sorry. Let's go get some tacos. Hey, that was pretty good. No. I know. When we come back, we'll remember Michael Cuccioni, an incredible kid who was taken from us earlier this year. On January 13th of this year, three weeks after Together shot its final episode of the season, the show had to say goodbye to its band brother, Q.T. McKnight. And we had to say goodbye to our dear friend, Michael Cuccioni. He was a rising child star who overcame cancer to realize his Hollywood dream. But at age 16, Michael Cuccioni ultimately lost his brave battle against the disease's damaging effects. Few young men get to realize their dreams by their 16th birthday. Michael did. I just want to be with somebody who's funny and down-to-earth and 
A real cutie. You're exactly the type of girl I should have been with all along. Just an honest, regular girl. That makes you even cuter. I think that, uh, that Michael, it was Michael's dream come true to do the show. When we were all auditioning for Together, Michael shows up and sings one of his own songs. That he wrote. Which that he wrote. ends up on the first album. Close your eyes, visualize the most beautiful girl that could be. Michael was just a great kid. I mean, he would show up and, um, you know, and he was a 15-year-old who just did 15-year-old things. He liked 15-year-old girls. He liked all girls. I wish the video, the, lawyer's not the concept for, you, for the video you. was a bunch of chicks, like a hundred of them, stealing our stuff, stealing our clothes while they're on us. That would be fun. Or maybe we could steal their stuff, like their clothes. <laughs> That'd be fun. I remember particularly uh, the Mandy Moore episode, when Michael was dressed as a bunny. I don't want to be a stupid bunny. What 16-year-old wants to be in a bunny suit when the hottest, you know, pop star yeah. that you can imagine comes to join your show and you've got a smoocher and now he's got to wear a bunny suit? I remember him uh, still still trying to hit on her even though he was in the suit. Like, it didn't really seem to phase him. He could be in a, the most embarrassing situation and he would still act like he was Mr. Rico Suave or Mr. Cool. They've casted a very beautiful lady for the part. And um, I'm very lucky to be uh, working with this beautiful lady. I remember when me and Mikey uh, did this one scene, I think it was in the first episode, where, um, <laughs> where we went to the liquor store uh, in our pimp hats and clothes like that to get, uh, to get beer. And, you know, so we can get wasted at home because we had nothing to do. So we went to the liquor store, and uh, of course they didn't sell us anything. Why don't your kids go home? What? Oh, man, don't make me come across this counter. Shoot. Maybe we should just go home. We do have a show tomorrow. Mickey Park ain't going out like that. Got me some of that soda pop. And we took it back home, and we got, you know, completely trashed off the caffeine from the drinks and the chips. We were totally full, you know? Do listen to me. Speak, brother. I was wrong about what I said about you earlier, man. You know how to party. No, man. You know how to party. You, man. You're like an upside-down rainbow. Your smile brings out the sun. And that's why you're my best friend. Friends forever. Well, Mike had a special relationship with his parents, and uh, they were basically best friends and parents. You know, they hung out together and all the time. Pretty much they were together all the time, and, and uh, you could sense it was a very close family, that's for sure. He loved his dancing and singing and performing, and he loved together and everything he did with it. The world has many boy bands, but none like together. Uh, as far as Michael and together, that was a dream come true for Michael. And he loved every minute of it, and it was him. And you can see it on the screen. You can see how, how, how happy it made him. If you just watch the show, you can see how happy it made him. Do I miss Michael? Yeah, I miss Michael. I think of Michael every day when I wake up. It's still a shock, I guess. It's not ever going to be the same without, without, the, without Michael. I think the hardest part is just knowing that he's not gonna, he's just not gonna walk in the front door and he's not gonna, you know, be there. Close your eyes, visualize the most beautiful girl that could be just one side, this one rise. It's like gazing right in a sea. Ciao. Hey, thanks for joining us for Together Behind the Awesomeness. Good night. God bless. This season on Together. Dude, <laughs> get off of my daughter! But Daddy, he's my lover. Mm. Ah, but you weren't invisible when you got Aunt pregnant. Ever heard of protection? I love you. You do? Just get back there and kiss her. I don't know how to kiss a girl. Talk about the uh, commitment. Uh, breast cancer research, blah, blah, blah. I kissed five girls in one night. Get a superstar, I think not. 
Fly was together so great. We need to gather back on our label. Find that boy band. Now! You ruined a date with America's sweetheart, Pamela Anderson. Okay, smile at the camera. There will never, ever be another one like you. What are you doing? I need to eject. You got my friends, my Oh, <laughs>